Good Timber by Douglas Monroe. Let's take a quick review or analysis of Good Timber. Let's start. Let's check what is the first theme, first idea which we are going to discuss. The significance of the title of the poem. The title of the poem, Good Timber, holds significance with respect to the message of the poem. The poet has artfully compared good timber with good man. He believed that it is not easy for both timber and man to become good without going through hard times. It is bare fact that the more they suffer, the more they become worthwhile and beneficial for the society. So this is the significance of the title of the poem. Then, on the other hand, if we talk about the central idea, in order to become good and beneficial, one has to face hardships and difficulties in life. Both timber and man have to overcome adversity with courage and determination. The struggle is a key to success to live a perfect, valuable life. Otherwise, both of them die without achieving anything worthwhile in their life. Next, themes in Good Timber. In Good Timber, Malak explores themes of struggle, fulfillment, and nature. Those who live through broken branches and storm will become Good Timber. These are uh, themes, those have been discussed. If we talk about the rhyming scheme of the poem, the Good Timber is one of the um, outstanding words of Douglas. It comprises of four stanzas, each having six lines. The poem is well structured and follows a beautiful, consistent rhythmic pattern. The rhyme scheme of the poem is A, A, B, B, C, C. And please keep it remember whenever it will be asked in the exams, you have to write it in the same manner. Literary devices in Good Timber. Let's check what are the literary devices those have been used in Good Timber. This entire poem is one extended metaphor comparing trees to human beings. Uh, when we talk about the extended metaphor, so it's when we are talking about what uh, any comparison which is going out throughout in the poem that is called extended metaphor in the same manner throughout the poet has compared trees with human being or they, it has been compared that the trees to human being. Through the comparison between the man and the tree can be observed. Then uh, the next point is about the alliteration. When we talk about alliteration, alliteration is an interesting formal device that can be seen throughout the repetition of consonant sound at the beginning of the multiple words. So when we talk about alliteration, alliteration is the repetition of initial consonant sounds within a line. This is called alliteration. And Alliteration we have already explained in my previous video, which was all about the figures of speech. For example, broken branches in stanza four, storm and strength in stanza three, the sun and sky, many men, sun and snow, good and grow are the examples. Those are found in the poem Good Timber, and these are the examples of alliteration. And gentlemen. Endowment is also an important technique to note of in good timber. When we talk about endowment, endowment is the continuation of idea from one line to another line. And that's why in the first line, no punctuation mark has been used and the idea smoothly move into the second line. And again, endowment has been explained in my last video related to figures of speech. Line one and two of the first stanza, these are the example of what in German here, the tree that never had to fight. And after it, you can see there is no punctuation mark for sun and sky and air and light. Now here, yes, we can say uh, the comma has been marked. So this is the example of in German. Then the next example, the line number three and four of the second stanza, for instance, who never had to win his share. Again, you can see there is no, there is no punctuation mark is here and the idea is smoothly to win his share, shares with both of sun and sky and light and air. There are multiple examples of enjambment. Those can be easily observed in good timber. 
So enjambment is another military device which is used. Then imagery. Imagery is all about the imagination and imagery is used in this poem uh, like other poems and like other compositions. As far as um, imagery is concerned, there is another video of mine that is all about the imagery. If you have any sort of ambiguity regarding imagery, you can watch it. Timber, sun, sky, farm, patch of soil, snow, these all are the examples of what these all are the examples of imagery. Rain. Okay. Thank you. That's all from my side. And here, the Sadaf is signing off.